I am a children's writer. A comedy writer. Well, I write novels, I write short stories, I've written a memoir. I write for the most difficult market of all. I write for children. ALCS uh, stands for Authors Licensing and Collecting Society. They collect money for us and they look after our rights. So basically, they go out there and they collect money for rights on our work um, that are being used but that we might not even know about and we certainly wouldn't profit from without ALCS. ALCS is unique because it really works for writers. Writers in our careers, we have to work with all sorts of organisations, publishers, TV companies, um, universities, newspapers, magazines. They're great people, but it's their commercial interest to get the best deal with us, which means they want to get us to do work for them for less than we might like. ALCS protects us, lobbies for us, it gathers money that we might not have known about anyway, all of which is a fantastic service. It is like a shield and a defence and a great community that really helps writers. The best way to describe the ALCS is a godsend to writers. It's a membership society though, and it collects money on behalf of writers. It protects their creativity and it actually campaigns for their rights, which is great. Money comes from all over the world, but mainly from secondary uses. Vary from a few pounds to literally tens of thousands of pounds. It really depends on your work, but uh, that money comes in pretty much twice a year, so it all adds up. Well, back in 1977, it was started by writers, and it's still run by writers even today. It's for everyone who writes for money. Um, so, my writer friends all belong, but it's, it's not just that. I was talking about explaining the ALCS the other day to my bank manager and she said, oh, but my neighbour is a dentist and he's written a dental textbook. Do you think he should belong? I said, of course he should belong. Anyone who writes for money should join ALCS. Well, I've got a friend who I've been nagging for years. She's a journalist and a writer and a sub-editor. And I've been saying, look, you've got to join. You've got to join. And uh, I got a text from her the other day to say, all right, I joined and I'm an idiot because I've got an incredible amount of money and I'm over the moon and I'm overjoyed, so thank you. Well, there isn't a catch. Writers are very suspicious people and I think you know, we, we trust ALCS because they were started by writers and they're still led by writers. ALCS does what it says on the tin. There was a great uh, creator, a guy called Jim Henson, who created the Muppets. And on the wall of his studio he had a phrase in big letters, simple is good. That's ALCS. It collects money the writers are owed and it makes sure it gets to them. I can't see what the problem with that is. I heard about ALCS through a fellow author, Tony Bradman, who told me about money that I was entitled to, that I didn't even know that I was entitled to, which is fantastic. I heard uh, from a friend of a friend who uh, came up to me and said, look, I've, I've got £500 for you, would you like it? And I joined, pretty much straight away. It's often the best kept secret in writing. Uh, you're bound to know a member, you just don't realise it. We're everywhere. Is that all right? Too much? That's a bit sinister. We're following you. 